We spend so much time criticizing the Fed that, frankly, it's disconcerting, if you ask me. If you listen to the conventional wisdom, you think that Jay Powell can't do anything right. Whenever something good happens with inflation, we're told it's nothing to do with the Fed. But anything bad falls right at the feet of Fed Chief Jay Powell. Even today, with oil coming down gigantically, we're told it has nothing to do with the Federal Reserve's attempts to slow down the economy and everything to do with China using less oil. These guys cannot catch a break. Even when the Dow jumps 416 points, S&P gains 1.56%, and the Nasdaq vaults 2.59%. But you know who rarely ever gets any heat? Congress. Congress. Surprising because it's one of the most consistently hated institutions in America, regardless of which party is running the show. I spent a huge amount of time pushing for the CHIPS Act. That was a $52 billion bill to promote domestic spending manufacturing so we wouldn't be totally hostage to an industry that's mostly based on the other side of the Pacific. Yes, Taiwan, where there's such a big hoopla about the speaker going to. You know, look, we got a global uh, semiconductor shortage, so I figured this bill was a slam dunk. We just needed Congress to make it less expensive for companies to build semiconductor foundries in America. I was so thrilled this thing passed. <laughs> Until I found out the bill, now called the Chips and Science Act, would be $280 billion, not $52 billion. Turns out this was what's known as a Christmas tree bill, meaning the core legislation was so popular they realized you could get away with attaching all sorts of other ass, ass and gimmies. Look, I'm not a deficit hawk, okay? But it is, it's, it's just stupid to spend all that money when all we needed was semiconductor incentives. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.